you will be joining the 1984 Democratic Convention and the speaker is Walter Mondale presidential candidate thousands of Americans who welcome me into your homes and into your businesses your churches and your synagogues I thank you you confirm my belief in our country's values and you help me learn and grow so tonight we come to you with a new realism ready for the future realism what type of real r-e-a-l or r-e-e-l hmm i suggest it's the latter a Reel of film. Capturing the best in our tradition. We know that America must have a strong defense and a sober view of the Soviets. We know that government must be as well managed as is as well meaning. We know that a healthy, growing private economy is the key to the future. We know that Harry Truman spoke the truth when he said, a president has to be able to say yes and no, but mostly no. Look at our platform. There are no defense cuts that weaken our security. No business taxes that weaken our economy. No laundry lists that raid our treasury. We are a wiser, stronger, and we are focused on the future. If Mr. Reagan wants to rerun the 1980 campaign, fine. Let them fight over the past. We're fighting for the American future, and that's why we're going to win this campaign. So the speech focuses on what we know. We, the truth community, know that all politics is fake. And the one that you observe there is just an actor. And so we'll get some help on that. Of course, we go to the pick try if. Okay, who really gave that speech? Gregory Peck. Mondale on the left. Peck on the right. Now, the image on the left is going to remain consistent so that you can see the results are consistent. Mondale consistent results. A new image of Peck gives a little higher percentage. Keeping Mondale a constant on the left, Peck on the right, 59%. Mondale consistent on the left. The new image of Peck on the right. Again, consistent results. Oop, nothing there. Okay, we'll have to go to another set that I've done. And let me get there for you. Whoop, sorry about that. Just hold on. I'll get there. Okay, there. Now this time, this time, the consistent one will be on the right. Peck on the right, Mondale on the left. 
Okay, Peck on the right, Mondale on the left. Okay, keeping uh, the image of Peck consistent. That one yields 75%. Keeping the image of Peck consistent on the right, 45%. Okay, we'll go back to the highest level, which is there. So, basically speaking, all politics is fake. All. A-L-L. -L. And yes... I'll dare to say even your local community politics has a lot of fakeness in it. Now the higher up you go with the higher offices, the more fakeness you'll find. The more fakery that you'll find. Okay? So when you get to the highest offices, such as vice president, president, yes, of course, they're all actors. Now, why is that true? The reason it's true is that there's really no actual consistent government. The government that you think is in place is completely phony. All right? And any chance at having a real REAL government has been long buried in this in the in the gravel of time so all that you see before you are actors and that's what the news is that's what all these conventions are democratic republican convention so forth they're just actors like gregory peck playing the role of Walter Mondale. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. End of video.